all of a sudden we started to win. He's going to be the greatest player of all time. And in walks Magic Johnson approaching the podium. Wow, talk about a legend. Yes, he left an impact on and off the court. That was a clip from the new docu-series, docu -series, They Call Me Magic. You don't have to be a sports fan to know who he is. Please welcome to the show, Magic Johnson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at you, your smile is just lighting yes. up our entire studio. It is contagious, so magic. Congratulations, you've got your new docu-series coming out. Why do you feel like this is the right time to share your story? Well, I think what happened was really uh, when Michael Jordan came out with The Last Dance and it ended, my phone just started ringing off the hook. We love what happened with Michael Jordan. Now we want to hear your story. And so I think that's what really uh, inspired me to do it. And I had to find the right partner. And Apple TV Plus has been the right partner. And then, you know, you start making the phone calls, asking people would they be in it. And uh, everybody said yes. And so <laughs> here we are. And I wanted to tell the truth. I wanted to tell my journey from Lansing, Michigan, how I grew up have uh, my family involved, my parents, my brothers and sisters, my beautiful wife, Cookie, my son, EJ, Andre, and Elisa, and uh, so, and then all my teammates. So uh, this has been really a wonderful uh, doc, and I'm proud of it. Even I cried, you know, I'm like <laughs> reliving some of those moments, you know, you, you tear up, and uh, but I'm excited because I wanted people to know Yes, it's been some highs, but it's been some lows, too, in my life. It's been some difficult moments, some difficult times, but it's, it's how you get through them is what matters, and so that's what it's all about. Amen. Absolutely, and sir, I, w I wanted to ask you this because I feel like everything that, that turns out to be great needs something to drive it, like a catalyst, and I feel like for you that catalyst was your rivalry with Larry Bird. I mean, you yeah. guys went at it and <laughs> for more than a decade, forever, so I feel like that would have gone on, but then you guys did a Converse commercial that led to the start of your friendship off the court. Do you guys think you would be friends today if it wasn't for that commercial? Wow, great research. You you on top of your game. <laughs> you don't want to go down this hole with me, sir. I, I was at your first documentary uh, Q&A with Larry Bird, Courtship of Rivals in New York City, okay. and talked to Jack McMullen. So we'll we'll talk later. I'm a, I'm, I'm a junkie. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say that um, it would never probably would be the friendship without that commercial. Mm. Uh, that changed both of our lives. And um, it was so funny because we hated each other up until that moment, right? We really never really talked to each other. And um, so now we're shooting a commercial, three hours. It's time for lunch break. I I'm thinking I'm going to my trailer to eat. But he says, no, Magic, come to the house. My mother has prepared lunch. So I, I can't turn down my bird, you know. So, so I go up to the house and... Uh, He's on one end. I'm on the other end of the table. She brings out the last dish of the food, and she says, Larry, did you tell him yet? And he says, no, Mom, you tell him. She turns to me and said, Magic, you my favorite basketball player. <laughs> Betrayal at the bird oh, table. Yeah. <laughs> I love That's it. That's good. I love well, it. Well, Magic, you mentioned your children, and uh, I'm going to say specifically EJ because I ran into EJ yeah. one time and fanned out like I had lost my mind. <laughs> EJ is one of the most fabulous people yes. I have ever met in person, okay? But you've been Thank so you. transparent to share in the docuseries that you struggled when EJ came out as gay. Can you tell us what led to you accepting and loving EJ for example? Exactly who EJ is. Well, you know, great question because we grow up wanting our kids to be what we want them to be, right? And so um, when that world changed, right, th then that he didn't become an athlete or he didn't become what I thought he should be, uh, then uh, it was on me, not on him. And so I had to change. I had to accept uh. who EJ wanted to be Aww. and uh, I had to love him for him. And uh, I'm glad that he did change me and, and that he is such an incredible individual and doing some amazing things. And what really 
got to me was all the letters and emails that he has received around the world, how many lives he has changed mm. and saved. He has been responsible for letting other kids be themselves as well as tell their parents uh, that they wanted to come out to them because a lot of people wrote him and said, I was struggling with that until you came out and, and I see how you just love being you. That allowed them to love themselves and become uh, a person who they wanted to become. Amen. So EJ is just wonderful. And he's doing a lot in the uh, gay community as well and uh, doing great things. Absolutely. Magic, quickly, I just wanted to talk about, we talk about this on the show all the time, and it's frustrating when you hear about movies or shows that are made about someone without their input, a.k.a. Tiger yes. Woods with the Tiger documentary. How do you feel yes. about HBO winning time being made without your input? Because I'd much rather watch your docuseries. Mm. Yes, you're, you're absolutely right. Nothing we could do about it. You know, the Lakers couldn't do anything about it. The NBA couldn't do anything about it. Um, and then, you know, there's some uh, so much... Uh, lies and not the truth and and so many things made up uh, so now people get to hear from me get to hear from the real Lakers Kareem Michael Cooper Byron Scott you know James Worthy uh, Jerry West who put the team together coach Riley who coached the team of course you know get to hear from the real Showtime Lakers get to hear from Paula Abdul the you know real Laker girl who made us all famous, yeah. made that situation famous. So I'm so happy that we're coming behind this, so yeah. people can really <clears throat> get to hear the real truth we, on what really happened. Uh, Jeannie Bus from uh, Dr. Bus's perspective as well. We got to have we, you back, we, Magic. We, uh, yeah, what we, an honor. In fact, everybody, first of all, Magic, thank you so much for joining us. But to thank our you. viewers, you don't want to miss this. To learn more about Magic's legendary life yes. and career, you got to watch his docuseries, They Call Me Magic, premiering exclusively on Apple TV Plus this Friday, April 22nd. We'll be right back. Thanks, Appreciate Magic. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thanks. Thank you.